welcome back. I'm so glad you enjoy my videos and thanks for all your emails and, and your questions too. I really enjoy them. Today we're going to talk about streams. A lot of people think that a stream you can just show the water going vertically down the stream and it's going to make it move. But that actually isn't what makes it move. Usually a stream has reflections from up above. It has reflections of the sky and what's around it. So those would be vertical and then we put some horizontal lines across the top of that. So um, if you'll just hold on a second, I want to show you who I have. This is my kitty and his name is Jake and he likes to sit next to me when I paint. But not now, honey. See you pretty soon. All right, enjoy. All right, to start the picture, I have undertoned the canvas in gray. It's hard to see, but it does make the colors stand out. If you'll notice in my composition, I'm using a S or a Z form, and I'm not coming directly off the corner. I'm coming above the corner and below the corner, not directly off. So now in a stream, once we make our design, and if you'll notice it gets very small at the back, and then it gets larger, using the perspective um, as it gets to the bottom. Streams at the edge have a dark tone because it usually has a bank. So I'm going to use some burnt umber and a little bit of ultramarine blue and make a small bank. It would be thinner on the side that, that would be closer to us and we'd be able to see more of it on the opposite side. Now I'm going to make some rocks with a little palette knife. I'm going to take some burnt umber and a little bit of yellow, a little bit of burnt sienna and just, whoop, what was that? Just throw in a rock or two. I guess a tree wanted to be there or something. Okay, and I'm going to put some rocks in the water. Now, when I put the rocks in the water, because it's just a rather shallow stream and it's just going along, I want to have some, the, the rock above the water it needs to be lighter, but I want to have it upside down below the water because it's going to show the shadow of the rock. And it'll make the stream look more real. Yeah, I have a couple small pieces here. All right. Okay, so now we look at the sky, for starters, and we see the sky has blue in it and it has a little pink in it. So I'm going to take the blue and the white and I'm going to bring those colors down into the stream, pretty much of what I'm seeing in the air. I'm seeing white clouds. I'm making vertical, vertical lines. I see a little bit of pink in the clouds. I'm going to add that to the stream. Blue, pink. Pink is the alizarin crimson. Now where it was dark, where I added the dark for the shadow of the rocks, I want to put the blue over that. So that there's definitely water running there between them. And over those shadow areas, I'm also going to make that a horizontal line. This is a little tricky <laughs> because everything is still so wet. I'm not waiting for it to dry in order to show you. <laughs> but hopefully you'll get this idea. Okay, I'm still working with the vertical sky, so I still want to have those lines go down. It's the only way I can make this water move is to have some downward strokes as well as upward. Now when I come across that, with whatever color is on my brush at the time, 
it's going to help that water move. All right, now I've added some rocks in there for fun, some smaller pebbles. And what we would do later We have to wait a little while while it's drying. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of darker, darker color water next to the edge. A little bit of the bushes showing down. Shut out that. Shut out that. Now I'm putting the white over that line so it goes this way. Alright, on that stream we can have a little bit of an edge, which I'm using with burnt sienna, and a little white, and a little yellow, to make a slight beachy area. Okay, now to finish this off, I have put a little bit of glaze on, on my palette, and that's this clear liquid glaze. And I'm going to put a little bit of that to the edge. And my brush still has a little bit of blue on it, so I want to just have this be very pale. And I don't know if we're going to be able to actually see how it works during the time of this video, but I'm going to bring it over the edges and when this dries when this dries voila you will be able to see the little pebbles underneath but it'll have a clear very subtle amount of water on top all right I've just painted a loose drawing on the side certainly not my most perfect painting um, you have to take more time than what I'm doing to show you. But principally, the, the principle of it is that you, you take the reflections of what's above, you bring it downwards, and then you bring, by bringing lines coming across, it makes it appear that the water's moving. Well, this is fast forward. I've taken a couple more minutes and high, put higher contrast in the stream and added a few little waterfalls with a fan brush. And so that's just about it for the day. That's, that's to show you kind of what a stream looks like. So I hope that you will watch the rest of my videos. I have some great tips just for the artists, but I have a lot for the rest of you to learn. So if you look up at the top, it does show you how. And you can subscribe for free, and then you'll be notified of any of my new videos. Hey, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Bye.